October 19, 2014 from the Edward Jones Dome in St. Louis, Missouri. It was the Seattle Seahawks at the St. Louis Rams. The Rams won the toss and they elected to receive, but they would go three and out on their first possession, so they punted the ball to the Seahawks, who took over on their own 26. And then after reaching midfield, it was third and 10 from their own 40. And then Wilson hit Baldwin for a 49-yard pass that brought the ball to the St. Louis 11-yard line. Lynch then ran for three yards and then two yards. And it was now third and five from the six. And an incomplete pass by Wilson would bring out Steven Hushka to kick a 24-yard field goal as the Seahawks took the early lead with the score three to nothing, Seattle over St. Louis. So now the Rams would take over on the Seattle 31 after a 75-yard return on the kickoff by Cunningham. So they were already in field goal range. And then on third and two from the 23, Austin Davis hit Britt for a six-yard pass to pick up the first down. Then a couple plays later on second and two, Mason ran for three yards to pick up the first down and make it first and goal from the six. And then Mason ran it in from six yards out for the six-yard touchdown run as the Rams took the lead at seven to three. So now Seattle had the ball with about five minutes left in the first. They would end up punting it after four plays. The Rams now took over on their own 26. And Austin Davis hit quick for a 14-yard pass to pick up a first down. Then a couple plays later on third and four from the 46. An incomplete pass. But then a defensive pass interference would make it a first down on the Seattle 38 for the Rams. But then after... Another penalty brought up another first down as it would end up being first and goal after Mason had run for a 28-yard run to bring it up on the 10. Now it was first and goal from the 5 after the penalty, and Mason was dropped for a 2-yard loss, but an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty against uh, Quick would actually make it second and 22 from the or second and goal from the 22 to open up the second quarter. So after one, it was 7-3 Rams, and to open up the second, St. Louis had the ball on the Seattle 22 for second and goal. Austin Davis then hit Austin, but he lost three yards, but then there was a face mask penalty, so now it would be first down on the Seattle 12, and then Mason ran for a yard, and then Davis hit Cunningham for six yards, so now it was third and three from the Seattle 5, and Austin Davis hit Cunningham for a five-yard touchdown pass, and now the Rams were in the lead, 14. To three over the Seahawks. So now the Seahawks took over with about 13 minutes left in the first half, and they had the ball on their own 20. They managed to bring the ball across midfield and into St. Louis territory, but then their drive stalled when on first down from the 38, Wilson was sacked for a five yard loss by Donald. Then after Turbin ran for a yard on second down, it was third and 14 from the St. Louis 42. Wilson was then sacked for a nine-yard loss by Sims, and so they would end up having to punt the ball. And on the punt, Stedman Bailey returned at 90 yards for a touchdown, and it was now 21-3 St. Louis over Seattle. So now the Seahawks would take over on their own 20 with about 7 minutes left. And they would go 3 and out. And the Rams took over on their own 47 with about 5 minutes left. And they would get down to the Seattle 34. Greg Serlene would come out to kick a 52-yarder, but it was no good. So the score remained 21-3. St. Louis over Seattle. So now the Seahawks had the ball with less than two minutes left before halftime. They had it on their own 42 after the missed field goal. And they ended up bringing it into St. Louis territory and into the red zone. And they picked up a first down on second and one from the 12 with a five-yard run by Wilson. But then on first and goal from the seven, a delay a game penalty brought them back to the 12. And an incomplete pass would bring up second and goal from the 12. Lynch then lost five yards. So now it was third and goal from the 17. And an incomplete pass would bring out Steven Hushka, who kicked the 35-yard field goal. As he kicked the second field goal of the game. And it was now 21-6 with the Rams in the lead over the season. Seahawks. Austin Davis then took a knee and this game went to halftime. So at halftime, the score was Rams 21, Seahawks 6. 
It's now in the third quarter. The Seahawks would start things off, but they punted on their first possession. So now the Rams would take over, and they would go three and out on their first possession of the second half. So now the Seahawks had the ball on their own 18 with about 10 and a half minutes left in the third quarter. And they brought the ball across midfield and into St. Louis territory, went on third and 17 from their own 45. Russell Wilson hit Doug Baldwin for a 19-yard pass to give them a first down on the St. Louis 36. Then a few plays later, it was third down and three from the St. Louis 19. Russell Wilson dropped back, and then he went around the end, and he ran it in for a 19-yard touchdown run. And it was now an eight-point game with the score 21-13, to St. Louis over Seattle. So the Seahawks had cut the lead to one possession. So now St. Louis had the ball on their own 21, and about four... Four and a half minutes left in the third. They brought the ball up to midfield. And then on fourth and one from the 45, they got called for a delay a game penalty. And that would bring out the punting unit. So the third quarter came to a close with the score 21-13. Rams over the Seahawks. And the fourth quarter opened up with the Rams punting the ball. And the Seattle Seahawks now took over on their own nine-yard line and they were down by eight points, they would end up making short work of the field as they went 91 yards in nine plays. Of course, it took them five minutes, though, but they actually had a touchdown nullified as Marshawn Lynch ran it in 15 yards out, but an offensive holding penalty would bring it back to the 19, and on first and 14, Russell Wilson hit Helfett for a 19-yard touchdown pass, and it was now a two-point game. They went for the two-point conversion, but it failed, so it remained a two-point game with the score 21-19 Rams over the Seahawks. So now St. Louis would take over on their own 20. Davis hit quick for a 19-yard pass on first down to make it another first down. Then Davis hit Kendricks for a 13-yard pass to pick up a second consecutive first down. Then a few plays later, it was third and six from the Seattle 44. Davis hit Gibbons for a 30-yard pass to make it first down and 10 on the 14 of the Seahawks. Then Mason ran for a 10-yard run, and now it was first and goal from the four. And then after being stuffed on first down, it was second and goal from the four. And Austin Davis hit Kendricks for the touchdown. So that made it 28-19, St. Louis over Seattle. So now the Seahawks took over on their own 20 with about five and a half minutes left in this game. And on first down, Russell Wilson found Marshawn Lynch for a 12-yard pass to pick up a first down. And then they picked up 22 yards when Wilson hit Baldwin for a 22-yard pass that brought the ball across midfield to the Rams 46. Wilson then scrambled for seven yards and it was second and three from the Rams 39. He then hit Richardson's for a seven yard pass to make it a first down on the Seattle or St. Louis 32. Lynch then ran for five yards and a penalty of offensive holding though would bring it back to the St. Louis 42 and then a four yard run by Wilson would make it second and 16 from the 38. Wilson then hit Curse for a 29 yard pass to make it first and goal on the nine and then an incomplete pass made it second and goal from the nine. Wilson then hit Baldwin for a nine yard touchdown pass and it was now a two point game after the extra point with the score 28 to 26. So now St. Louis had the ball on their own 11-yard line with about three minutes left in this game and the two-point lead. Cunningham got stopped for a two-yard loss on first down, and the Seahawks burned their second timeout. So now it was second and 12 from the St. Louis 9, and the Rams dropped back to pass. Davis then hit Cook for a nine-yard pass. So now it was third and three from the Rams, 18, and Davis to an incomplete pass. So now that would bring out the punting unit, and Hecker came out to punt the ball, but wait a minute. It was a fake punt. Hecker throws the ball to Cunningham, who was wide open, and he only needed three yards, but he picked up 18 yards, and the first down would all but end the game. As the Rams had the first down, they would end up running the ball to bring it to the two-minute warning. And then on second and nine, Mason ran for eight yards to make it third and one. And uh, 
then Mason would end up picking up nine yards, and but he fumbled the ball, and then the Rams jumped on it, but they fumbled it again, and then it was a big, huge pileup, and in the end, it was ruled that it was St. Louis balls as the Rams recover. Austin Davis, they would just have to take knees, and this game came to a dramatic close as the St. Louis Rams beat the Seattle Seahawks 28-26, to and the Rams pick up their first home victory of the year, and they improved their record to 2-4, and four, and the Seahawks are now 3-3 three and three on the season. And in this game, Austin Davis was 18 for 21 with 152 passing yards and two touchdowns. He also rushed for 16 yards off of five carries. Russell Wilson was 23 for 36 with 313 passing yards and two touchdowns. He also rushed for 106 yards off of seven carries and rushed for a touchdown as well. So Russell Wilson had three touchdowns in this game, two passing, one rushing. And he was actually the leading rusher in this game. The leading rusher for the Rams was Trey Mason, who had 85 yards off of 18 carries, one of which was for a touchdown. The leading receiver was Doug Baldwin with, with 123 receiving yards off of seven receptions, one of which was for a touchdown. Cunningham was actually the leading receiver for the Rams with 46 yards off of five receptions, one of which was for a touchdown. He also rushed for three yards off of two carries. It was the defense, though. Smith and Wright both had 10 tackles for the Seattle Seahawks. Jenkins was the Rams' leading tackler with nine tackles. The Seahawks had no sacks. The Rams had three sacks. Donald, Quinn, and Sims each had sacks. And this game was amazing. That fumble there at the end, recovered by the Rams after that fake punt and they somehow some way pull off the victory as they beat the Seahawks by two points of course that two point conversion that was a failure ended up being the difference in this game and the Rams hold on to win with the final score St. Louis 28 Seattle 26